let me show you how you can simply crop a passport-like image photo from a regular photo. Before we jump in, keep in mind, passport pictures may have a different sizes depends on the country you are in. So please don't just rush to the comment section to correct me. Double check what is the common passport size in your region. For example, in the States, it's two times two. So that's exactly square image. We're talking about inches, but in Europe and Schengen passports, that's 35 times 45. So definitely not a square and that's in millimeters. All right. So double check what's the size of your image. Size is one thing. And second thing is if you are dealing with biometric passports, they are really strict about image quality. It's extremely hard to crop a regular image, not only about the size, but also you looking into the camera in certain ways, your hairstyle in certain ways, the backdrop lighting and all of that stuff matters for them. So I will highly recommend to just go to some photographer to snap a brand new picture for your passport. But I'm guessing you are here to get a passport like image, something that looks a bit like a passport image. You can stick it on your resume, your CV, put on your profile, LinkedIn. So we are not that strict about biometric value of that image. All right. With that said, let's just get started. I will use the European size today. So 35 times 45. Here's the image. Then select the crop tool. And at the very top, we will need to type the size we need. But as you can see right now, it's in pixels. What we can do is we can click cancel first. Let's go for the view and we're going to turn on rulers so we can see those rulers at the top and on the left. At the corner here, you can see PX, so PX pixels. Let's right click on it and change from pixels to millimeters. That's what I'm going to use today. OK, let's jump back to the crop tool. Now we can change this to custom ratio. Our ratio is. 35 times 45. All right. Now with that, we can move this around. Even scale it down because the ratio is exactly as we set up before. So ratio is stick to that. And now I can scale it all the way down. I can move it. You can even do a gentle rotation if your original image is not straight. Take a look. We can straighten it right now. I'm going to do that to straighten the eye line. So I add rotation as well. All right. And it should be something like this, I guess. I hit. Enter or apply the blue button at the top. And here's my new image. Let's zoom in a bit. All right. So right now the image is actually still there. So if you unlock the layer and use the move tool, you can see that the whole image is still there. The best way to reduce the size of this file will be to right click on the layer and use something resize and trim, trim to this new ratio. And here it is. Now we got this image in the new ratio. You could literally copy that, bring it to a brand new A4 page, paste it right here. Then by sizing this down, you can size it to exactly size you need using the transform box at the top right. You can type the size from here. So width should be. 35 height is 45 that's correct and with that we got a proper passport image that we can copy and paste we can copy by pressing command and simply moving the image and this way we can quickly create passport like images from the bigger pictures so that's one way you can also go here and check the original size of this image. So you can go for document and you can resize the document. Right now it's way bigger, but this is the correct ratio already. So we just simply changing the size from here. 35 times 45 resize. And it's way smaller. Now, as you can see, the pixels appear here. 
because nobody will zoom in in that clause. So that's the image that you can now export. So file, export, and you can save it as JPEG or you can save it as PNG as well. Keep in mind, it's really small now because we set up the small size. I will actually undo to have it a bit bigger. The ratio is correct. And now we can use that to put it into your resume, your profile image or whatever you need. If you want to smooth out the backdrop, be sure the layer is unlocked and then search for a tool in the healing group called InPainting Brush Tool. So with InPainting Brush Tool, I will try to get rid of the shadow here. So the backdrop is more unified. All right, way better. It's not just a straight line. Not perfect, but way better. All right, so that's how we can crop a regular image into a passport-like size. Keep in mind, nowadays, modern passport got so many requirements for biometrics, so I will not risk preparing that stuff at home. <laughs> Let's go and take a proper picture for a new passport, but you can still use this kind of image online for places that do not require some strict biometric stuff, like I mentioned already, your resume, your LinkedIn profile and stuff like that. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. See you in the next one.